Let's ultrasound. On today's edition of Ultrasound Physics Review, let's review practice questions, set one. Question one. The angle that a sound wave approaches a boundary is known as A, impedance, B, incidence, C, transmission, or D, refraction. And the answer is B, incidence. Question two. The primary cause of attenuation, which occurs as a sound wave is converted to heat as it travels through the tissue, is known as... A, attenuation, B, reflection, C, scattering, or D, absorption? And the answer is D, absorption. Question three. The loss of a strength of a sound wave as it travels deeper into the tissue or through a dense structure is known as A, reflection, B, transmission, C, attenuation, or D, scattering? And the answer is C, attenuation. Question four. Ultrasound absorption is highest in blank and lowest in blank. A, bone and air. B, air and water. C, water and bone. Or D, water and air. And the answer is B, air and water. Question five. When a sound wave approaches a boundary at an angle other than 90 degrees, it's known as A, oblique impedance, B, perpendicular incidence, C, oblique incidence, or D, perpendicular impedance? And the answer is C, oblique incidence. Question six. The propagation speed of a sound wave is determined by the blank and the blank of the tissue. A, stiffness and density. B, density and impedance. C, impedance and stiffness. Or D, stiffness and viscosity. And the answer is A, stiffness and density. Question seven. When a sound wave approaches a boundary at 90 degrees, it's known as A, perpendicular impedance, B, perpendicular incidence, C, oblique incidence, or D, oblique impedance. And the answer is B, perpendicular incidence. Question eight. Ultrasound propagation speed relates to whether blank of the sound wave will occur. A, refraction, B, reflection, C, transmission, or D, attenuation? And the answer is A, refraction. Question nine. Ultrasound absorption is directly related to A, reflection, B, refraction, C, scattering, or D, frequency? And the answer is D, frequency. Time for a little review session. Propagation speed is the speed in which a sound wave moves through the tissue, and this is determined by the stiffness and the density of the medium, which is the type of tissue that the sound wave is moving through. Propagation speed is not related to reflection or transmission. Rather, it relates to whether or not refraction of the sound wave will occur. Absorption. Sound converted into heat as the sound wave travels through the tissue is known as absorption. And absorption is the primary cause of attenuation. And attenuation is the loss in the strength of a sound wave as it travels deeper into the tissue or through a dense structure. Absorption is highest in air and lowest in water, and it's directly related to frequency. Incidence. The angle that a sound wave approaches a boundary is known as the angle of incidence. There's two types of incidence. Perpendicular incidence, which occurs when a sound wave approaches a boundary at exactly 90 degree angle, and oblique incidence. And this is when a sound wave approaches a boundary at any angle other than 90 degrees.